what's up everybody today I'm gonna be telling you how to ollie but this time in first person so let me cut it to a split view right now so now you should be able to see if you're goofy or regular don't mind the trains in the back I'm right near the skate park where the train tracks are but yeah in this video I'm gonna be telling you you know how to ollie and then the common mistakes that come with it and how to fix those common mistakes and no I prefer these while rolling instead of staying still. <laughs> so really the only prerequisite to learning how to ollie is just being comfortable on your board, whether that's standing still or actually riding. I recommend just riding around so you can be used to just, you know, getting a feel for your board, what it feels like. You don't have to be doing all that I'm doing right now, like about to ride off a curb, whatever, onto this crusty place. But just be comfortable riding, right? Just riding, standing on the board, moving your feet around a little bit, turning super crusty ground but basically the more time you spend just riding your board just pushing around the more easy it'll make it to learn how to ollie because even though the ollie is technically like the simplest trick it's one of the hardest tricks to learn because you know it's just the fundamentals of all the other tricks that come after now that you know that let's just go over the basic of the ollies so basically you know you hear everybody they say pop slide jump push whatever you know like don't really focus too much on it just know there's a lot of motions that go into it you know there is a popping step there is a jumping step there's a sliding step you know you're just mixing those all together and i'll go over the timing more in detail later but basically the ollie is just getting you into the air it's like the equivalent of a jump just on a skateboard so you're mixing you're you're popping you're sliding and you're jumping all to get one ollie motion like this and in my why you can't ollie video i actually mentioned like one of the secret tips that helps you get a better ollie is after you do all of those is to actually push out more so as you're like popping sliding jumping you're pushing if you push your front foot out more what it does it actually dips this nose more so that the tail can go up higher so that is just basically the basics of the ollie so now let's go through the common mistakes. Honestly, the most common mistake is the timing. And I know like in my video itself, the Why Can't Ollie video, I said pop, slide, jump, push, right? But the more I thought about it, it's it's more like this. So really just take this in. So you're gonna get on the board, right? Honestly, let me go over the foot position a little bit first. So your front foot, you want it pretty much just under the bolts and then your back foot, you want it you know, pretty much anywhere on the tail that's comfortable for you, right? So basically for the timing, think of it more like this, right? So for the ollie, you're gonna squat down first, right? And then pretty much you're gonna pop as you go up. So you're popping as you're jumping. There's no like pop, jump, like it's not separate. It's basically, basically you're popping as you're jumping. So I'm squatting down, popping as I'm jumping, right? It's one motion. And pretty much, you know, just slightly after popping, you want to slide the side of your foot up all the way to the nose as far as possible it's almost like a mixture of your you know the side of your foot and your toe a little bit but basically you want to slide all the way up to the nose you don't want to slide it up just the bolts or anything all the way up to the nose so again you're going to squat down you're popping as you're jumping right pretty much just slightly after that you're going to start your sliding and then you're going to tuck your knees up and almost as you're doing that you're going to do the little push motion i mentioned which is just like putting pressure on your front foot to just push it outwards, right? So if you put those all together, it should look something like this. All right, does that make more sense now that you look at it? So it's not really like separate steps. They all kind of merge together in like split seconds. So again, squat down, pop as you're jumping, slide a little bit after that. And just tuck your knees out and push out. So I'm gonna do this while moving because I really prefer to do it while moving instead of staying still. So I'm gonna do the same process, squat down, do the rest of the steps do the rest of the steps if you look at my front foot you may not be able to see from the first person view but i'm just jutting my front foot out after i'm sliding so pretty much what the push step is doing you're really just leveling out this rocket pop so that it levels it out more and kind of dips it to get your back wheels up higher so just look again those are the basic steps and that's kind of like the timing for it so that's the most common mistake that i see for the ollie itself right now for the next common mistake it deals with popping so you may not be getting a solid pop right and this can be two things one can be your foot position with your back foot and how you're popping with it take this for example right if i just put my whole bottom foot just flat on the tail like this don't really have my toes anywhere if i try to pop it's going to be a weaker pop you see if i use my toes and the balls of my feet 
on the tip of the tail and you almost want to like point your toes down if you're using that to pop you get more of a solid pop right so don't pop flat-footed like this you want your toe to be right there so you can get a solid pop right you want on the tip of the tail you want to be popping with your toes and the balls of your feet that was a little weak right there <laughs> You guys probably can't even see the height from this angle, which is pretty funny. So the next reason why you may not be getting as much pop is that you may be jumping too fast before your tail even hits the ground. So you might be doing like a ghost pop like this, right? You can still get an ollie that way, but just really make sure that you put enough pressure down so you actually get a solid pop. You don't want to slide or jump too fast. Just really make sure you get a solid pop as you're jumping up and push really hard with your back foot. Also some other things that may occur with the ollie. So just really test where you put your front foot. Like you pretty much want to have it just under the front bolts, but you, you know, maybe starting off, you want to maybe put in the middle so you can get a little more slide, but just know if you don't, if you put it like all the way back here, this isn't going to get you a better ollie. It's going to be really hard to drag your foot all the way up. So I would say either put it in the middle if you're starting or put it right below the bolts. Cause again, your goal is just to slide it up to the nose. So my GoPro decided to randomly cut off on me. But basically the last tip I said to work on was just really work on bending your ankle sideways. It's a really awkward motion when first starting the ollie. But if you just practice this motion over and over, it'll get more comfortable so you can get closer to the ollie. So now let me play some slow motion clips so you can really analyze the ollie. So that is how to ollie, but in a POV and first person perspective. Hope you all are enjoying this series. Let me know what other tricks you want to see next. For the ollie, just take some time with, to get the timing down and really just make sure you tuck those knees up because the higher you tuck your knees, that's what makes the board able to go higher. So yeah, let me know what trick you want to see next in this. Hopefully this helps you with the ollie. Also make sure you check out my Why You Can't Ollie video if you want to see more camera angles instead of just a first person perspective. Otherwise than that, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.